Hey GoPro, start recording. Awesome. Hey GoPro, stop recording. Okay, we're all set up here. Got the GoPro ready. I'm going to go down onto the field, 50 yard line. I'm going to video a series of me doing backflips from the 50 yard line all the way to the goal post. So here we go. It's going to be epic. Hey GoPro, start recording. Welcome to Adventures with Bill. In today's adventure, we're going to be reviewing the cheapest GoPro remote on Amazon. And we're going to answer the question, is it worth it? Now you might ask yourself, why would you need a remote for the GoPro camera? Doesn't the GoPro have a voice activation feature? Well, yes it does. But the trouble is, you've got to be really close to the camera for the voice activation to work. So if you're any distance away from your camera while you're filming an action shot, you may need a remote control. If your camera is mounted on the outside of your vehicle for an action shot while you're driving on the inside, you need a remote control. Perhaps you're fishing or building something and you're trying to video it and your hands are busy. Sometimes the power button and the record and stop a button are a little hard to uh, to hit on the GoPro camera, especially if you've got it mounted in a holder or on a chest mount or up on your helmet. Um, in that case, yeah, remote controls come in very, very handy. And so the uh, remote that we I'm going to be reviewing for you today is the Ray Geek. Ray Geek. I think that's how you pronounce it. And you can get it for $35 on Amazon. And of course, you can always buy the GoPro brand remote specifically made for the GoPro camera, but that's $80 at the cheapest. And so you can, you can get two of the Ray Geek remote controls for less than the price of one GoPro brand. I would say if money is no object to you, go ahead and get the GoPro brand. Very reliable. GoPro has very high quality. But the cheapest remote on Amazon, $35. Question, is it worth it? Is it reliable? Now, I looked on Amazon, and there were no reviews for this product yet. No reviews on YouTube. So this will be the first review for the Ray Geek remote control. The Ray Geek remote control is said to work with the GoPro 10, the GoPro 9, the GoPro 8, the GoPro Max, and also an iPhone and a couple of other smartphones. So it appears to be a very versatile remote control. I'm going to be ranking this remote in several different categories, and we'll give it a final grade at the end of all the testing. The first thing we're going to test or rank is the package contents. What do you get for your $35? Well, it comes in a nice box with a picture of the remote on it. And uh, it's interesting. I mentioned this is a Ray Geek remote, and that's how it's advertised on YouTube. But I noticed when it came, it's actually a Telesyn brand remote. And there are many other Telesyns sold on Amazon and other places, and they seem to have a good, uh, good quality, good reviews. Most of the Telesyn brands sold as Telesyn started about $45. Uh, so this was $10 cheaper for me. I like that. So what do you get in the package? Well, the first thing, of course, is the remote itself. And um, it looks to be good quality. The good controls, we'll talk more about that later. But you have the remote. Uh, you don't have to buy batteries for it. It has a built-in battery. With that battery, uh, with the remote, you get a charger for the remote. Um, it plugs into any USB outlet on your computer, uh, a wall outlet, uh, battery pack charger. So that's handy. 
the actual method of charging is uh, kind of neat. It doesn't have the little USB-C port that you would plug in uh, like you would find on a, a camera or a phone, the, the, the pretty much the common standard remote. This is really interesting. Don't know if you can see it. We may zoom in on it. But this has a magnetic mount and a magnetized charging cord and you simply get it near and it clicks into place and it charges. Now, one thing that worried me when I first looked at this, I was thinking about it. Two little brass connectors, two here, one positive, one negative. And I thought, hey, what happens if you accidentally plug it in the wrong way? You'll be reversing the polarity of the electricity charging it. You could blow up the battery. You could damage the internal controls. That's not a good thing. So I thought, well, let's try to plug it in backwards. And here's what's really cool. You, you can't do it. The magnets, if you do it the wrong way, the magnets actually repel each other and won't allow you to make the connection. That's pretty sweet. Do it the right way. It's on. It charges. What else comes in the package? The recharging cable, the remote, a wrist strap. Um, and, it's, and it's handy because it's a Velcro, typical type of wrist strap, and you just feed it through the two sides and attach it to your wrist. Um, but it's a little funky. Because of the way that the Velcro is oriented, um, I found it really hard to attach it on my wrist securely, and um, it's just kind of funky. So it's nice that they include it, but for me, it's really not easy to use. It's not user-friendly. And so the, the idea of it is that you would attach it to your wrist, and you would have it there, have it on your wrist, and with your other hand, you would hit the buttons to control your GoPro camera. So the controller, a wrist strap, charging cable, and of course, your instructions. Instruction manual, that's a good thing. There's a lot of small electronic devices come around nowadays, and they don't even give you instructions. you got to go on the internet to try to figure it out, and if the product is made in China, which most of them are, a lot of times the instructions aren't that good. This is a pleasant surprise. The, uh, the instruction manual on this is very good, very clear. Several pages that tell you how to use it. And um, if you know Chinese, on the back, you have your instructions in Chinese. So, what kind of a ranking do I give on the package contents? Well, at first I thought it was going to be a really high score. And I just thought, man, this, this um, charger deal is so cool. And I will mention one reason why a lot of companies are going to this magnetic style instead of the regular port is it makes the unit more waterproof. And we'll talk about the waterproof rating a little bit later. But I thought, this is really cool. But then I got to thinking, what if I'm out for two or three days camping, hiking, whatever, using my GoPro, using my remote, and I forget the charging cable at home? I'm out of luck. When this battery dead, it dies, it's dead. I've got no way to charge it up because I don't have anything else that uses this type of a magnetic mount. If they had used the regular, like a USB-C or, the, or the, the normal little connectors to charge that, that you have with virtually everything. I mean, everything uses them. You've probably got a million of them laying around, the extra cables at home. I, I would have one in my vehicle that I could charge up with and go. So, because the wrist strap is a little funky, and because of that unique charging where you have to have this charger and no other, on a scale of 10, from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I'm going to knock it down to a 7. Well, hey, at this point, we're going to take a short break from the review. We're going to get right back to it. But if you haven't already guessed, this is my very first YouTube video. I'm just getting started here. And so I want you to know... Um, I am not sponsored in any way on my YouTube channel. Um, I did not receive a free product to review it um, because I want to give you an unbiased review. That's the kind of reviews I want. 
And so what I'm telling you is 100% the truth. You can trust it. And so I want to ask you a favor. If you would, down below this video on YouTube, there are two buttons. One is a like button, it's kind of that thumbs up button. Um, and there's also the red subscribe button. If you would just take a minute and click the like and the subscribe button, I would really appreciate that. It's free to like videos. It's free to subscribe. You're not obligating yourself in any way. You're not going to get any emails from me. But this just helps me. If you like and subscribe, A, it helps me to produce more of these videos, and it helps the videos to get a wider exposure across YouTube. Also, by subscribing, you, when, if you're searching for more videos, they'll all be in the same place, and you'll know when the next Adventures with Bill comes out. Now, this is a, a product review, all right? It's not the most um, entertaining uh, adventure that we might have, but I plan to have several different categories of adventures. There will be amazing stories with Bill of amazing true life adventures that are almost out of this world. Uh, there will be uh, how-to videos, uh, do-it-yourself videos, um, primarily designed to educate you and entertain you at the same time. And so this is going to be a, this is a family friendly channel. You can bring the whole family, especially when we start doing the, the stories with Bill and the life adventures, they will be entertaining uh, for the whole family. And so uh, if you would just share these videos with your friends and encourage them to come along. And so we, we just want this to be a good time for you. All right. The next category that we're going to rank this remote in is in the appearance and the construction. And so just looking at the unit, feeling it, um, you know, just checking it out, it, it's pretty solid, okay? It has a good layout. The, it's a four-button four control panel. The instructions tell you what each one of those buttons do, and um, it's easy to operate. And so for the appearance, construction, ranking, I would give it at this time... 9 out of 10. That's pretty good. The third, the third ranking category is ease of use. How easy is this to use? And so the first thing, as I mentioned before, in the ease of use is the instructions. How clear are the instructions? They, they are really clear. You won't have to look, at, look over it more than one or two times, and uh, you are ready to go. The second, the second, uh, Ease of use is charging. I, I mentioned the, the kind of the funky, the unique charging cable, but honestly, it's super easy to use. You attach the charger to the remote, plug it into your power bank, and uh, it illuminates right away and gives you uh, a great display on it. This is one area where reviewers of the GoPro brand remote give it low marks, is that the display on the GoPro brand is not backlit. And so in the dark it, or, or dim lighting, it's really hard to see. Connectivity. This being a remote has to be connected by Bluetooth with the GoPro camera. And it actually connects exactly the way the GoPro brand remote does. You will push the power button on the remote, hold it for a few seconds. When the display turns on, you will see the Bluetooth signal or the, or the Wi-Fi signal flashing, and that shows that it's in pairing mode. You then go and turn the camera on, go to the settings where it does the wireless pairing, you go to the bottom category and it says the remote and you, you hit that. And uh, for me, it was less than four seconds, pairing complete, pairing successful. And so I had no problem with that at all. Sometimes that, you know, I have other Bluetooth items like earbuds or headphones. And uh, sometimes they can be kind of quirky about pairing up or keeping them paired. That was another negative uh, review for the GoPro brand remote was that sometimes it would lose connectivity. And in all of my testing uh, with this remote, the Telesyn, uh, no loss of connectivity. 
So, in the category of ease of use, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Another high mark. Our fourth category for ranking this remote is the range of operation. The distance. How far away from the camera can you be and the remote still works? Now, if you're looking at the GoPro brand remote, they advertise 60 meters distance. It's more than 60 yards. It's a 196 feet, and that's pretty good. Um, but again, the reviewers, many of the reviewers commented they didn't always get that much distance. Okay, this Teleson brand remote advertises 80 meters. That's 20 meters further than the GoPro. It's 262 feet. It's 88 yards, almost the length of a football field. And if it works, if it really connects and operates the GoPro at that distance, that's a good remote. And so for this testing, we're going to go back outside on the football field, and you're going to see how does this connect? What's the range of operation for the Teleson $35 remote control? We start this testing taking the remote 10 yards away from the camera. And you can see it started recording there. That's the picture in picture. And then it also stopped 60 yards away. And this is how far the GoPro brand is supposed to work. This one works perfectly at 60. 70 yards, not a problem. 80 yards, okay, that's what's advertised. Works perfectly. The picture is a little blurry because I had to zoom in. 90 yards. 100 yards away, the remote is still working. 110 yards is as far as I could get, and it works. 30 yards further than advertised. Now here in this section, I'm testing it to, um, I'm going back down at 100 yards, and you can see that the uh, video comes on. It does record, it starts, it stops, so works great again at 100 yards. And then I decided to take a couple pictures so it changes the mode to pictures, and it works great. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that's amazing. 110 yards. That's 100 meters. 20 meters more than it's advertised to do. 330 feet. Hey, that's outstanding performance. So on a scale of 10 out of 10, can I give it 11? I'm going to do it. Because I'm, I'm, because I'm ranking this. Alrighty then. How does the review go? What's the final ranking? Well, on contents, package contents, we gave it a score of 7 out of 10. Appearance and construction of the unit itself, 9 out of 10. Ease of use, also 9 out of 10. Range of operation, which to me is the main selling point, 11 out of 10. For an overall score, of 36 out of 40. Is that a passing grade? It sure is. At least it is for me. Do I recommend the Teleson? And actually the actual model number is T10. The Teleson T10 remote for $35 to you? I absolutely do. Passing grade on my part. I think it's an outstanding value. And now it's actually a better value. I just checked on Amazon today. And the price for this comes under a different name brand, just like Raygeek. Um, it's a different name brand. I found it on Amazon for $30. $30. You can't beat that. So, hey, as we finish out our review today, I want to let you know about a couple of our upcoming videos that we have planned. I'm going to be reviewing this generic battery charger for the GoPro batteries. Yes, you can plug the GoPro camera in directly, charge the batteries in the camera, but that's a little unwieldy at times, especially if you're out in the field recording. With this, you can record, uh, you, excuse me, you can charge three batteries at once, all different types of battery chargers. Again, I got the cheapest. We'll see, is it a good value? And a little different type of review that I'm really excited about doing because this, this speaks to my heart. I want to review a book. I want to review a book for you. It's called Be Expert with Map and Compass. Now, I read this book 30 years ago. And if, 
you like to hike and explore in the woods or out in the wilderness, but you're always a little afraid of maybe getting lost, this is the book for you. So I'm going to have a really exciting review of it in an upcoming video. Again, thanks for watching Adventures with Bill today. And please, if you just take a moment, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you'll be notified when these upcoming reviews are taking place. So hey, thanks for spending a little time with me. God bless you. Have a great day.